Hi there. I'd like to show you how to make a black bean soup that has both prebiotic and probiotic ingredients in it. This is a really great way to get both elements that you need for gut health. And so to combine them into one recipe just makes it easy and tasty. So what I have here are some black beans and I bought them in a can. This is an organic black bean with no salt and I just rinsed them. So in order to make this soup really fast and easy, it's really simple just to buy the beans already cooked. You can also cook your own if you like. I also have a can of diced tomatoes. Again, if tomatoes are in season or you wanted fresh tomatoes, I would just grab the organic cherry tomatoes because they always taste good. I'm in, you know, if it's not in season, tomatoes that are whole don't taste all that great. So that's the tomatoes. I've got about half a cup to three quarters of a cup of onions. I have about two tablespoons of chopped cilantro plus about two tablespoons of chopped green onions. I have a half of a fresh jalapeno which has been chopped up. I have dried cumin which I'm going to use about a teaspoon of. I've got a cup of chicken broth and I have sea salt and pepper which I'm going to use to season. Now for the fermented I'm going to top this with some yogurt and some raw milk cheddar cheese which is just yummy. So what I have here in terms of prebiotic and probiotic, I have prebiotic resistant starch in my legumes. I have inulin FOS uh, in my tomatoes, in my onions, in my green onions. I also have it in the kale here. I have some two cups of kale chopped and some uh, zucchini, another two cups. So I have more prebiotic there. And then I have extra digestive help from the jalapeno is going to aid digestion, the cilantro is going to aid digestion, and so is the cumin. So this is a really, really good digestion gut health recipe. So it's really very simple. All you have to do is start by adding a tablespoon of olive oil. I'm just going to start this. I know it's a bit noisy, but I'm just going to start this. And so you just add a tablespoon of olive oil to your pan and we're going to add the onions first and we just want to cook the onions a little bit just to get them a little translucent so this doesn't take very long Okay, so they're starting to get translucent. So what I'm going to do now is add the jalapeno. I'm going to add a teaspoon, sorry if I can get it, a teaspoon of the cumin. And I'm going to squish in the garlic. I'm just going to give that a little stir so they can all get kind of mixed together. And now I can add the black beans, the tomatoes, and I don't drain the tomatoes, just add the juice in there, and the chicken broth. Now, the reason I'm using chicken broth is because it's a bone broth and that provides valuable glutamine. And glutamine is also good for the gut. And all we're going to do now is bring this to a boil. Okay, so you can see it's starting to boil. Now we have our vegetables here and you have your choice. I've got kale here, which I'm going to add because the stalks are fairly tough. And so I wanna give it a little more time in here with the beans and the tomatoes. And the beans and the tomatoes don't need to be cooked. They're already cooked. But by putting this in here, um, this way with the seasoning, we're sort of seasoning the tomatoes and the beans with the cumin and the 
jalapeno and the onions and the garlic. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing with the kale. So what I'm going to do is just put a lid on this and lower the temperature to simmer. And we're going to just do this for about five minutes. It doesn't take long. And then we're going to add the zucchini because the zucchini doesn't take very long to cook. Now, if you use different vegetables that, you know, cook the same amount of time as the zucchini, then you can add them at the same time as zucchini. So it depends what vegetables you use and how much cooking time they need. Spinach, you can throw in at the last minute because it doesn't take very long to cook. So you just judge based on what vegetables you're using, what sort of time frame. But none of this takes very long. Your main cooking here, we did with the onions and the garlic and the jalapeno and uh, with the cumin there. And then the other cooking would, of course, be with the vegetables. And that's about it. Okay. So we will come back in about five minutes. Okay, our five minutes are up. So I'm going to now add the zucchini. So I'm just going to dump that in. Yes, there's a few more kale pieces there, but that's okay. I'm just going to mix this in. And now I'm going to cook it for about three more minutes because that's all that zucchini needs in order to be cooked. All right, so the zucchini is now cooked and we're going to turn this off. And all we have to do now is we're going to season this with some sea salt and pepper. And you season this to taste. Okay. Now we're going to give it a bit of a stir. And then we're going to taste it. And this is going to be a little spicy because of the jalapeno. Just a bit more salt. And again, we're going to just add a little bit more pepper. Remember that black pepper aids the absorption of all the other nutrients. So we always like to add black pepper if that's to our taste preference. And now we're ready to serve. Okay, so serving is very straightforward. We're just going to, whoops, sorry, I forgot one thing. <laughs> we have to put in the cilantro and the green onion. So these always go in at the end. Just stir that in. It's very pretty. Okay, now we're ready to serve. Okay, so we're just going to scoop this into our bowl. Okay, so we have it in our bowl. Now, if you like, and you don't want to add anything fermented, you can just serve it like this. You can eat it. This is a great lunch. You can uh, take that for lunch in a thermos or something like that. It's very satisfying. If you want to add other fermented foods, you could add kimchi or sauerkraut to this. That would go very nicely. But we're adding yogurt and raw milk cheddar cheese. So all we're going to do is we're going to put couple of tablespoons of yogurt on top like this and then we're just going to add the cheddar cheese on top. So this is not going to harm the bacteria because the bacteria needs to be cooked for about 20 minutes in order for it to be killed so it's safe that way um, and then what we're going to do is well at least this is what I do when I eat it I mix it all in because what the yogurt will do will take some of the heat out of the jalapeno so that's really nice if you're not wanting super spicy. Now, other things you can do with this is if you want to complete the meal, you can add other things to this. You can add other vegetables. You can add meat to this. It already has legumes in it. Uh, maybe you want to serve it with a grain. So maybe you could add rice to it or you could have rice as a side dish or have a side dish, a special side dish of rice. Uh, so you can add other foods to this to complete the meal but it's ready to go as it is and it's really really yummy and if you like you know sort of mexican style foods uh this has that mexican sort of taco-ish taste to it with the tomato and the, the yogurt and the cheese and it's just yummy 
so i hope you like this and i hope you give it a try.